to do flag pulling with all my experiences and also my understanding about flag pulling i can guarantee you that it is is still safe and it is is still a possibility for you to change your temporary resident permit status to work permit flag pulling the only problem there is that officers can be mean they can even throw your documents if you are ready for going to flag pulling prepare your emotion na ito trabaho lang nila ang mga cbsa they are trained to actually have a ganong mukha na hindi friendly and intimidating behavior i don't know how they switch that off when they go back home so wag niyong isipin na it's you think of it that it's them and that's not you. Okay? Maging kapal moks kayo. Be strong. Be confident to face those CBSA officers. The reason is that that's not them. That's their profession and that's how they have to behave to every single applicant. If you found somebody who's friendly and accommodating, then you're in luck. It is still possible. You just need to be brave and get all the supporting documents and support from your family from your friends in order for you to face this situation you have to remember this is your future you need to be brave in order for you to get that work permit there's no other way if you came here as a tourist visa holder the right attitude will gonna save you in order for you to be successful in canada but if you have the intention to destroy people or apakan mo yung isang tao para lang umangat ka or maging successful yung plano mo, that is a no-no behavior. To be honest, if you do that, it will come back to you. What goes around comes around. Do not do unto others what you don't want them to do unto you. Those are golden rule. If you are coming here as a tourist visa and your intention is to go up and be successful, then might as well remove that lifestyle or remove that habit to destroy other people in order for you to be able to survive. That's wrong. Honestly, it's completely wrong. So that's my, um, you know, that's my, uh, my advice to everyone. Um, if you're new here in Canada, please cling to those people who knows what they're doing are, are really genuinely concerned to you and then um i i have to say this again do not engage in an lmia buying an lmia for at least fifteen thousand minimum twenty thirty forty thousand those lmia don't you know that when you have your lmia it is not a guarantee that you get your work permit if you are a tourist visa holder here that LMIA is only a requirement, a number one requirement in order for you to be able to complete the application for work permit. It didn't say that for you to be able to get a positive work permit. It is not. So be careful. That LMIA, you should obtain that LMIA in a proper place, in a proper workplace. Um, once the immigration find out that you are dealing with all this buying and selling LMIA, then you're gonna be in trouble not only from your pocket because a lot of people they're offering agencies are offering twenty thousand dollars lmia because they know that you are showing your desperation then you're gonna be in a bad situation so don't and no no and lastly i wish you all the best